Hey guys, this is for uh, PEF number 13. Uh, first couple are just going to multiply them out. So two, that's going to give me 4x squared plus 18x minus 18x minus 81. Remember, this is kind of a special case, so the middle stuff drops out. So 4x squared minus 81 is our answer. Next one, we have uh, 2x minus 5s that we're multiplying together. So that's going to give me x squared minus 5x minus 5x plus 25. So that's x squared minus 10x plus 25. Remember, this is a special case. So yes, you can just multiply it out like normal. Okay, factor completely. Okay, so the this is called the difference of two squares. So you would have learned about this in your lesson. This is a perfect square, perfect square. So that's going to be x minus 8 and x plus 8. Notice you have one positive sign, one negative sign. This one's different to two squares, so x plus 7, x minus 7. And this is one of the special cases. Uh, sometimes it's hard to see, so we're going to say, or this might not be a special case, so we're going to multiply, so we get the 100. Both signs need to be negative because we have a negative sign right there. Okay, and it's positive, so that's 1 and 100, 10 and 50, or 2 and 50, uh, 5. And 5 and 20. 5 and 20 are both going to work because those are gonna, when they're both negative, add up to negative 25. So x squared minus 5x minus 20x plus 100. So I have an x I can factor out, x minus 5. Factor out negative 20. That's going to change that sign to a negative. So you have x minus 5, x minus 20. Number 11, this looks like difference of two squares, but that is a plus sign. So this is prime. It will not factor out. So you can just be aware of that. And that will definitely be something you'll see on a quiz. This is a difference of two squares, so that's 2x plus 5, 2x minus 5. Uh, let's see. I don't have a greatest common factor here, but I think I'm going to multiply those together. I'm going to get the negative 100, so I have alternating signs. I want the factors that would add up to the tw negative 20. And I think I can go ahead and use 4 and 25. And it's going to be a negative 25 and a positive 4. So I get 4x squared minus 25x plus 4x minus 25. Oh, that should be a 5, excuse me. 5. So we're going to go ahead and that's a 5 and a 20. So, no, wait, wait, wait. I goofed up on this one. Let me erase this. I'm sorry about that, my friends. I got ahead of myself and was thinking about it. Okay, so we're going to get the negative 100. So we knew we have alternating signs. So 1 and 100, 2 and 50, 4 and 25. 5 and 20. The 5 and 20 are going to work. Uh, let's see, 5 and 25. No, that's not going to work. Um, 10 and 10s aren't going to work. So let's see. Is there any way we can get any of these? They're, one's going to be, they have to be opposite signs. So, friends, this one is also prime. It will not factor. It looked like it would, but uh, it's not going to factor today. Number 17, uh, I can factor out 4 out first. That's going to give me x squared minus 25. This is now the difference of two squares, but don't forget to bring the 4 down. So x plus 5, x minus 5. Done. Okay, ask about the other ones. Uh, ask about nine, 19 in class. So that's a good one. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.